Украина. Украина. Что ж умываемся? So as we begin the Mass now, I'm offering up the Mass, of course, now naturally for all your intentions and for the intentions of all the people, of course, who come to worship here in Tobrid on a regular basis. I suppose it's fair to say that May, in many ways, is the, one of the loveliest months of the year, if not the loveliest, perhaps <laughs> the loveliest, because flowers are blooming, the first fruits are ripened, the earth begins to yield evidence of a harvest to come, so no wonder, I suppose, then, that the Church devotes this month to the Mother of Christ. She who makes flowers spring up wherever she walks. And then Tobrid Well, during the month of May, of course, has always been and is continuing to be, shall I say, a hive of activity. With people coming to pray, to meditate, to spend some time in silence, to pray for whatever intention they have in their lives at that point in time, to give thanks. And I suppose people come here simply because of the stillness, the quietness. They like to be with their thoughts. They like to be with their reflections. And they like the serenity, I suppose, and the peacefulness that is central to coming, of course, to pray and to visit Tupperware. Well.
So this evening we are in Tubbridge in Mill Street and we're here with the well keeper and um, we're just going to hear a little bit about what goes into uh, keeping the well here in Tubbrid and what kind of a team is involved in it. Uh, first of all Gail you're very welcome here to Tubbrid, Tubber Ida, the well of Ida in Gaelic and uh, this has been going for many generations in, 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 in a much smaller form going back to previous generations and in around the 70s uh, a small group of people got together and developed what we have at the moment and did an absolutely magnificent job they were so far planning so far thinking I don't think anybody could put, they're all gone to their eternal reward and all of this what you see here was built by better men than us I'm quite sure and it is our job to keep it for future generations and it is a small team of dedicated workers that come together to produce what we have here. People give up their time and their effort and their energy and they have to be applauded. Uh, just like the people who came before us for instance, we merely bask in their shadow. And, uh, and it's a very big well, I was reading that it's the second largest in Ireland. Was it? Did it always look like this or is this how it looks in recent years? Back in the there are some photographs, uh, Gail, going back to the 50s. There might have been a, one camera in the whole parish back in those days. And I remember it. I, I, and uh, it has... They took the structure that was there and they just beautified it in a, in, a, in a wonderful way without spoiling it. And uh, 
It is, yes. Three million litres a day flow from here. That's 700,000 gallons a day. Flows from here. Some of it goes down to the Fennau River, which joins the Munster Black Water only about two kilometres away. But most of the water is taken through a grill, goes through a system, goes through the pump house over there, where there's a pump pumping at 40,000 gallons an hour, where the water is treated and pumped up to reservoirs in the mountain. And the water is then gravity flowed down to the town of Mill Street and the environs. So we have the best of water. So this, this is feeding the whole water system Correct. in Mill Street? Yes. Yes, it is. My God. And I see there that um, people are, are taking lots of drinks of water and there's they no are. little they sips. Are. They're taking big they gulps are. of it here. They, are. they, are. they feel and it's safe. The, 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 there was, during COVID, the, the cups that were down there at the moment, they were taken away. I had to mm. take those away for three years. And I brought them back and there was something emotional emotional about uh, bringing them back because they were there people always wanted to have a cup of water before they left and uh, you see people coming here some people might uh, be in ferrum and so on and they were brought by family but then the family would come and take cups of water back out to the car or, or to the seats here and so on like that and uh, it is so uh, rejuvenating I think uh, Gail I'm not going to lie I think that's that's pretty close to it you know? and you have the pattern tonight um, but was it always as celebrated in your memory? Yes, I think it was. Probably not. I would say from the 70s on, from the late 70s, is what you see here. And this was done with uh, the previous people who, who came together, with the help of the local county council, by the way, who uh, my father owned the land around here. And uh, he gave over some of that to the council. The council said, we don't care where we put the pump house, but we want to put a pump house here to pump the water. So my father said, look, put it away up over there. But my father said, we want, we want a, a car park for 42 cars. Before that, there was a car, one, room for one car, Gail. Room for one car, and nobody came down here over the winter anyway. But now you have people here morning, noon, and night. I hear Sundays is very busy here. Sundays are a wonderful day here. Yes, absolutely. People come on Sundays, and uh, everybody without ex exception is very welcome. This is a very welcoming place. I love to meet new people here of all kinds and so on like that, who are very, very welcome. And uh, somebody might come, meet them for the first time, they go as a friend. They leave from their, their friends and they'll always come back. And I think there is something about that. The Irish welcome comes into play here as well. And there is something that I've noticed about this part of Cork, and um, this Duhallow. Area. area yes. the, the holy wells are still very active here in all of the villages, much more so than I've seen in other counties. I think so, yeah. But when you one like this, what you, I think the mistake we make is comparing them. Every well has its own beauty. You mentioned St John's Well. On an evening like this evening, you would see the sunset from St John's Well up there on the side of the mountain. There's nowhere like it. While that sun is setting, you would hope that the sun would not set because it's so beautiful. You know, it's a better setting. For the sunset than I have here at Tobrit. I have the mountain, luckily enough, but that's, I don't have the sunset. And that's what I have up there. And tell me, well, on your own family land? Yes, it is, yeah. And you've inherited down through the generations? Yes, I have. And well, it's a labour of love. It's not, a, it's not even related to work. I have never shed one drop of sweat here, for instance. It's a labour of love, meeting the people and doing this. Who could not enjoy every minute of being here? See me. I can see you. I can see Do you have any word to say to me? I can't see you. <laughs> Worry that we enjoyed all night. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I enjoyed it too. So, 
we're standing at the end of the road um, from Tubridge Well and we have the most beautiful view behind us and we're going to hear what is behind us. So, uh, so as you say, we're just standing here in the entrance to, to Tubridge Well, uh, which um, the annual mass takes place on the last Friday of, uh, of May every year. And it's an annual thing for the for the local people and for the people uh, which come here every year. Now, just on the backdrop behind us here is the famous Clara Mountain. Uh, Clara Mountain, which overlooks the town of, of, of Mill Street, and it has now become um, a walking route for people as well. So, so. You, you can climb Clara Mountain and they also has, have the Clara Loop which uh, takes in, uh, can, take in um, take, can take you on a two to two and a half hour uh, journey around the base of the mountain uh, which takes in some wonderful views and so anyone that's thinking of trying it to do the Clara Loop in Mill Street on Clara Mountain um, you will enjoy your time on the mountain and it's, uh, it's a beautiful setting.